I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it! Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. And a happy new year. I've never in my life made a what I got for Christmas video, and I kind of want to start doing it just as a little time capsule because I have no idea what I got last year. I want to start making sure that I can remember. Man, I wish I had my tiny microphone. I lost it. Anyways, me and my family just finished opening up our Christmas presents like an hour ago. And so before I kind of pack everything up and put it all away, I wanted to show you guys what I got. If you're like my family, we always start with the stockings. It's like the appetizer. We come down, we see the stockings first. We go right in, we dig through, we see what we get, and we're like, oh my gosh, what does this mean? And sometimes it teases to an actual present we get later on, which you will see is the case here. So the contents of my stocking this year is kind of just like a lot of little things. We got, what even is this? Like a hair mask, because I told my mom my hair was falling out and then she had a on panic attack in front of me. But yeah, it's just like travel size stuff, travel size toothpaste, aquaphor. I think my parents were just trying to tell me I need better hygiene. This is actually a deodorant stick. Why is it the size of my actual thumb? Like, I don't know how much coverage you're capable of doing. This is the one that's a little puzzling. They're bath bombs. Tell me why it's for Megan's baby shower. I have a feeling my mother regifted these. Oh well. Suck it, Megan. I got your baby shower bath bombs. How do you feel? That was a little harsh. I'm sorry, Megan. The lip scrub. I don't know if you guys really care about all of this stuff. It's the nitty gritty. Another bath bomb from Megan baby shower. Sorry, Megan. You get pregnant and what do you lose? Two bath bombs. I'm excited for this one. Watermelon mojito hand lotion. I kind of want to try this right now just to see if I'm going to be a fan of it. What is my biggest ick, you might ask? These tiny little caps that they put on these things. It's so annoying. Yeah, look at that ooey gooey goodness. I'm manifesting. This better give me magic hands. I have a lot of high hopes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, the smell. I'm not getting mojito, but I am getting a virgin pina colada. I'm also kind of nose blind. I'm sick, which I always get sick for Christmas. Why do I get sick for Christmas? I don't know. Because of that, my mom got me disinfecting wipes. Apparently, I'm just not sanitary enough. I like going to theme parks, okay? <laughs> And are theme parks sanitary? No. But I'm okay to live with my action. I had a blast at Universal. I went like five days ago. Hints as to why I'm sick. And I'm totally okay to being sick because of that. It's more of the same. Q-tips. Oh. I really think my mom is trying to tell me something. Another moisturizer lotion. I've never used lotion before. Maybe I should start. And my personal favorite is this really cool... What are they called? I'm drawing a blank. A loofah. They're called a loofah. Look at my loofah. That commences the annual stocking. <laughs> Let's get on to step two. Oh. With that being said, everything else was gifted to me from my family with the exception of one box. And that would be the box that Squishmallow sent me. I'm not gonna get too much into this, but I'm doing a giveaway. When I tell you they sent me like so many cute little babies, my apartment room is already a Squishmallow shrine. I don't know where to put the rest of these. One of my fantasies I had in a dream a couple days ago is like pouring a bunch of Squishmallows on my head and like soaking up all of the happiness. Shake up the happiness, wake it up, wake up the happiness. That was a little more anticlimactic than I thought it would be. Oh, they really got sent everywhere. They went flying. Maybe when I get back to California, I can do an actual in-depth video of my entire collection. Let me know if you guys want to see that. <sighs> Where do we go next? Should we get into the weird toys? First up on the- Oh god. First up is this stuffed animal chicken, and it's kind of weighted. I don't really know why, and it has like a little bladder. I don't really know who would find this visually appealing, but it just looks like it's giving birth, and there's even tiny little bubbles in it. Oh, am I supposed to squeeze it? <laughs> I thought you were just a normal chicken, not a birth-giving one. <laughs> It's so unsettling that it doesn't go back in all the way. I think I'm in love. Also in the same gift box was this Twinkie. I don't think it's actually called a Twinkie, but I'm gonna call it a Twinkie. The sound is a bit unsettling, I'm not gonna lie, but it is fun to play with. What is inside of it? It's a weird complexion, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I accidentally rubbed off a little bit of the face. I wonder if it's stretchy. Oh, it's stretchy too. I'm not gonna break this one like the bananas. I'm smarter now. One minute later. I was gonna say I know when they have limits. Obviously, I don't. Look at what's inside, though. Mmm, taste the biscuit. Ew, it's like glue. I have actual gifts, but I want to, like, keep it kind of in order. My parents know me so well. Orange slime, it's dope slime. No idea what dope slime is, though, but it better be pretty dope. Dope, dope, dope. Isn't dope a drug? Nope, say nope, too dope. Recently, I have not had good luck with slime. I've only really invested in it a handful of times, and every time I get it, it is already separated and extremely sticky. So, oh, it came with a little lemon, or a mango, or an apricot. I don't know my fruit. This is very visually appealing. My fingers are getting trigger happy. Can I take you out on a date? Let me take you out, bro. My sensory details right now are pulsating. Do you think this is edible? 
Blech. It smells like oranges, doesn't taste like it. This is a good gift. What? I don't like slime. Oh, you can already see my next gift. Another gift I was not expecting whatsoever this year is more sticky balls. I don't know the actual name of them, but basically they're just extremely sticky balls. I have, I think, 36 in my apartment back in California, but I'm in Georgia. I have none on the ceiling. By the time I leave, I need to make my mark on it. They're not sticky to your hand, but watch this. Oh, oh. Oh man, that was all of them. Now, we all know one of my favorite colors is orange, specifically tangerine. And my mother took this and ran with it and got me these Adidas Ultra Boost. I was one of those very basic high schoolers that had an all white pair. If I knew they made orange, I would be stunting in these. When you see this color, do you or do you not imagine that tangerine trident gum smell? Because it's my favorite smell in the entire world and it's this color. Maybe that's where this all stems from. So now that I can stunt around in these shoes, I can wear them with underwear. That's all you're getting. I did get one article of clothing. My mom works for Coke, so I'm pretty sure she got this out of gifting, but it's like a long sleeve red Coca-Cola shirt. I'm not mad about it. It's cute. My one predicament with long sleeve shirts, it's natural for humans to sweat, not natural for me to sweat as much as I do. I'll wear a long sleeve shirt and within 15 minutes, there's just a nice ovular dark shade. It doesn't even phase me anymore. If someone judges me, I'll just say I work out. Oh, why are you sweating? Because I ran a mile, Martha. <sighs> I told you my mom likes to kind of set up a gift. And this year, the gift was so beyond good. It is a new toiletry bag. Now let me real quickly go and get my old toiletry bag to show you how desperately I needed a new one. It's so bad. I'm disgusted. This is the toiletry bag I've called mine for basically my entire life. Let me show you a really cool feature about it. If you open the top zipper, oh my gosh, it doesn't even go to anything. Oh, and there's more. This is gonna sound like a brand deal. I promise it's not. If you guys remember earlier this year, I accidentally bleached my hair and it was so damaged. Hair was falling out left and right. I thought I was gonna go bald. Because everybody raves about Olaplex, I started using it and it's so good. When I arrived in Georgia for this holiday season, I went to Sephora to get some Olaplex, right? And then we walked around the outdoor mall that we have here. And somehow, somewhere along the way, I put down my bag to go do something else because I have an ADHD brain and I never picked it back up. I'm just really hoping somebody that couldn't afford Olaplex saw it and is using it and it's now working wonders on their hair. But because of that, my mom decided to get me not just the shampoo and conditioner, but the whole party pack. And they're refillable and travel size, so I can use them whenever. One of my sisters is very into journaling, and one of the gifts she got me is not only a gorgeous journal where I can just jot down all of my midnight thoughts, we're just gonna see what happens with that, but she also got me a productivity sheet where every day, if I remember, I go in and kind of write down what I want to accomplish. And it came with one of those bougie multicolored pens. I can be red, I can be green, I can be blue, and black. So there's that. What's next? Oh my gosh. I lose my wallet a lot, okay? Not much going on up here sometimes. Earlier this year, I traveled to Hawaii with my parents and the day before we traveled, I could not find a wallet for the life of me. I lost it. And so when I got to the airport, I had to go through this really nitty gritty screening. I had to do it every time we got on and off a plane that entire trip and it was such an emotional headache. So my mom got me a wallet that has a thing for an Apple AirTag. The other really cool thing about this wallet is you can push out all of your credit cards. Oh Jesus, that was a little too aggressive, but you can push them all out and it allows for easy access. Isn't that so sweet? Also my grandparents gift this year to me was a wallet. <laughs> To be fair, it's a really nice leather wallet, so if I'm ever going to a super bougie event where I don't want to look like a tech whiz, it's gonna work out. And that leaves my last two gifts. These are my favorite. The first gift. I screamed when I saw this. My mom is really big on experiences, and because of that, I also am really big on experiences. So one of her gifts this year was an all-exclusive trip to like an island off the coast of California. Didn't know there was an island off there, but there is. And it's for me and one of my friends. I already invited Maddie. And it says we can see dolphins, and I really want to see a dolphin and ride one. And then that leaves us with the last one, a mystery scented squishmallow. I know. I have the chance to unravel a peppermint scented squishmallow. Should we just do it? Like, is there a certain way to open this? Should I close my eyes? Should I karate kick it? Okay, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh my gosh, I saw a flash of red though. You're cropped in on my head now, so I'm gonna take it out of the bag. It's out of the bag and I'm not looking. Together, we're gonna look in three, two, one. What's your name? It doesn't have a name. I can name it myself. Wait, I've never actually been able to name a Squishmall before. This is a lot of pressure. Well, it's a gingerbread, but it's cute. It looks a little fruity as well. Look at the green eyes. It has to be like green. What if I named it asparagus? There's like a special herb, right? And you put it in a lot of Christmas festive dishes and you can pick it parsley. Mistletoe. No, that's even worse. You take the mistletoe out and what are you left with? Toe? His name is Toe. <gasps> Topher. Topher, because you have a Santa hat and it's furry. Oh my gosh, I love it, Topher. And that's all of the Christmas presents I got this year. I wanna know what y'all got though. Y'all better be in the comments telling me what your favorite gift was. I'll be waiting in the comments.